In this video series, we'll set up Citrix Session Recording Service. This video takes a look at how to configure recording policies. Head to the Policies tab from within the Session Recording Console. From there, you are able to add a new policy to enable sessions to be recorded by default. To add a new rule, you name it and determine which action the recording will take once it starts. Determine the scope of what you would like to be recorded. You are able to select the specific users and groups, apps and desktops, delivery groups and VDA machines, or IP addresses and address ranges you would like to record by default. In the Event Detection Policy tab, you can add rules specifying which events you want to be recorded alongside the sessions being recorded, as well as defining rule scope just like what we did in Recording Policy. When you add a rule, you choose which specific events you want to log within that rule. The event triggers include anything from an app starting to clipboard operations and specific web browsing activities. Finally, determine how the session recording service will respond when an event is detected. You can take actions when the event is detected and determine the logic if an event type is something you specified. The session recording service is able to send an email alert or start dynamically recording the user's screen. Once that event is triggered by the user and the screen is recording, you are able to find the playback and the recordings tab and open that file to view exactly what happened. Here we see a user has triggered an event for the session to start recording and we can view and make notes upon what happened. Nice job! You just configured recording policies. In the final step, we will assign permissions to administrators.